We are in the East End of Toronto and we are at my client's house who's also my friend and midwife. This was a much smaller house before. We put a 20 foot addition on the back of the house that extends from the basement to the second floor. So this great room, kitchen, family room area, dining room that we're in, about three quarters of it is the addition. We actually considered a couple other options. Originally their idea was to expand over the garage and then we decided it actually made more sense to go out the back. So we did all planning drawings, committee of adjustments, permitting, all through the construction process. What we have ended up with is an amazing main floor. So we have a giant kitchen at the back with a family hangout space, a beautiful dining room, a banquette, and a giant island. And all of it overlooks the beautiful backyard, which is lovely. There's so many old trees and a beautiful patio, and it's really a lovely view, both in the summer and in the winter. They like to entertain, they like to cook, and everybody likes to be in the kitchen at the same time. So we wanted a lot of counter space, a lot of hangout zone. Their kids are teenagers. So we wanna make sure there's lots of space for teens to hang out and also for their friends to come over. And also they love coffee. So we wanted to make sure we had a separate coffee station, tea, drinks area, and really take advantage of this giant long wall that we ended up with after the addition. We looked at a bunch of different layouts, but it made the most sense to bank it all on one wall and then have a giant island separating the family room and dining room from the kitchen area. It is Pavilion Gray from Farrow and Ball. What I love about Farrow and Ball colors is they have this depth to them and they always change in the lighting. And I feel like when you're gonna do something pretty neutral, like a pale gray, if you use a Farrow and Ball color, it adds a lot more interest because depending on the time of day, it starts to shift the color a little bit. We wanted to add a beverage fridge for entertaining and the thinking was to put it close to the back door so that people coming in and out from the yard can be grabbing drinks and if you're entertaining a large group of people and hosting, you could kind of set up a bar on the end of the island. Classic situation we have in so many Toronto houses, HVAC, how do we cool it? And in this case, we wanted to add air conditioning Slim Jim units to the back, but I don't want to see them. I don't want them sitting over my dining table. I don't want them sitting over my family room wall. So in this one, we actually built it into the kitchen above the fridge and added a metal mesh detail that got painted to match that mimics the caning on the back of the dining chairs and really hides the air conditioning unit but still provides ventilation to let the air flow. I love a banquette. And actually my client was texting me the other day saying that this has become the heart of the home, that everybody's hanging out on the banquette all the time. Kids are working there doing homework while people are cooking. Everyone's lingering there over dinner. I actually had my book club meeting here a couple weeks ago at the banquette. It was delightful, but it's really a wonderful area. As I've said many times on these videos, it's like having a sofa in your kitchen. Who would not want that? We also introduced a wall covering on the wall opposite the kitchen to balance out some of the soft but subtle color that was happening in the kitchen and also to give that side of the room its own personality. And then on the banquette, we used railings also from Farrow and Ball, which I love because it is black, but it has this bluey undertone that reads in different lights. And I love the bluey undertone with the caramel cognac -y vinyl on the banquette. I feel like it just feels so rich. So the sitting area, the idea is just another kind of loungy space. We didn't need another TV on this main floor, which I love. It's always nice to have areas that don't have TVs. And as I get older, I realize the joy of sitting in a chair as opposed to a sofa. It's nice to have two arms. It's nice to be able to put your feet up. So really that's kind of more of an adult hangout space adjacent to the kitchen and the dining room to have drinks or appetizers and really just kind of lounge. And because it's in front of this huge glass wall to the backyard, it's really nicely connected to the outdoor space. So it's a great spot to hang out in the winter and look at what's going on outside and also in the summer. These are also swivel chairs, which is lovely. So you can turn and chat with people at the dining table. You can turn and chat with people in the kitchen. You really can be connected or engaging with anyone in the space because you can spin around. Or if you're a child, you can push your friends around on them. We have a beautiful formal living room at the front, which actually I would call more of a den. That's where we have the TV and it's cozy and we have bookshelves and a fireplace. Originally, the first time we came, I believe they just had piles of shoes and coats because they're a family of five, so it's a lot of stuff, plus a cat or two cats and a dog. A lot of things by the front door. So we removed what was a drywalled closet and replaced it with a millwork closet. So we put hooks on the side and a little mini bench on the side and a drawer underneath that. So really we wanted to bank as much storage as possible into that little space without overwhelming it with a bunch of pieces and this one custom unit ticked all the boxes. This project was very fun because it's always fun to work with clients who are also friends. It's easy to communicate and keep things rolling and our client's father was the contractor which was also keeping it all in the family. Our clients are so happy, they really love being here and entertaining and she's always sending me pictures of when they're hosting and how much they love it here and it's always nice to see people enjoying the space after it's completed.